สวัสดีค่ะ It's n a t t y from the Tiger, and you're watching Thailand Top Stories. Today's major news in Thailand and around the region. Stay tuned for a quick update on the COVID-19 situation here in Thailand, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The TAT governor is confident, saying that the low point for Thai tourism has passed now that 2,000 to 3,000 international travelers are arriving each day in Thailand's broader reopening. Some of them tourists. He says the goal of the TAT is to create a sustainable and growing tourist economy by attracting a wide variety of these high-quality travelers and creating a great experience for them. Particular focus should be given to reaching new travelers who have never visited the country before, particularly from growing demographics like India, less than a three-hour flight away. The Indian market has plenty of subgenres to attract, such as families. Weddings, hosting Bollywood film productions, and the 600 million young travelers there. Thai PM Prayut c h a n o c h a is set to host a so-called Unity Dinner on November 26. The dinner, involving members of the Palang Prasharat Party and their coalition partners, is an attempt to mend a few bridges, particularly between the major Palang Prasharat Party and the Democrats, over the rift that developed over the government's rice policy. When reporters probed the PM about the state of the government's coalition, he responded, saying that it was "quote unquote" in fine shape. Last week, a Democrat spokesperson dismissed the comments that the rice price guarantee program, initiated by the Democrat Party, would weaken farmers by making them dependent on government subsidies. The Democrats insist the subsidies provide financial security for farmers. The Supreme Court's Criminal Division for Political Office Holders is investigating evidence that suggests MP Parina k r a i k u p allegedly owns land in a forest reserve in her home province of Ratchaburi. Possessing land in a protective reserve is highly illegal, although encroachment cases around Thailand are still quite common. The NACC believes that Parina should be barred from attending House committee meetings. Considering that the Supreme Court issued an injunction that suspended her from performing her work as an MP until the trial, Chiang Mai's famous Doi i n t e n o n National Park has now reopened after being closed for months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Doi i n t e n o n is Thailand's highest mountain. Visitors arrived at the park gates as early as 5 a.m., where they had to undergo a quick COVID-19 screening before being allowed in. The national park is the home of the so-called Roof of Thailand, which is 2,565 meters high. Now you know. It's located in the Dom Thong district, not too far from Chiang Mai city center, and is a popular attraction during the northern cold season, with its misty mornings and chilly starts to the day. Regionally, in New Zealand, thousands of demonstrators are protesting against COVID-19 restrictions. About 3,000 people, most not wearing masks, made their way through the capital, Wellington. Some attendees carried flags supporting former U.S. President Donald Trump, while others bore signs carrying messages from Maori groups, those impacted by lockdowns, and teachers who faced losing their jobs if they refuse vaccinations. The protest was peaceful, with demonstrators dispersing after performing a mass haka. The traditional Maori ceremonial chant on the grounds of the parliament. Police said there were no arrests, although they expressed disappointment over so many participants flouting coronavirus restrictions. Chinese President Xi Jinping says that the Asia Pacific region must not return to the tensions of the Cold War era. He made the comments in a video message ahead of a virtual meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden. Expected as soon as next week. The comments were made to an Asia-Pacific region summit, saying that attempts to draw ideological lines or form small circles on geopolitical grounds were bound to fail. He said the quote region cannot and should not relapse into confrontation and division of the Cold War era. End quote. And now for a quick update on the COVID-19 situation here in Thailand. The CCSA has reported 7,496 new cases of COVID-19, with 57 new deaths. According to the latest reports, 7,452 have been released from care within the past 24 hours. 
And that wraps up the COVID-19 update. For more news on Thailand, go to thetiger.com or check out our evening show, Thailand News Today. สวัสดีค่ะ